Choo choo! Look kids, here comes a train to take Peppa and her family to the zoo. But first we'll need some cars. Here's a cute flower one with a real working swing. And it goes back and forth as it rolls. Oh wow, look at this star one. It has a dinosaur on top that rocks when it rolls. And here we have a heart shaped one with a spinning horsey that goes round and round as it rolls. But first we're gonna need passengers for our train and I think they just might be in this house. I wonder who's behind this blue door with the number one on it. Let's start by ringing the doorbell. And now we can use our number one key to unlock the door. We'll just put it in the keyhole, give it a turn, and now the door's unlocked. And look at that, it's Peppa. Isn't she cute? And since Peppa's gonna have a special day at the zoo, she wants to wear a special outfit. Oh, how cute, a red dress with pink hearts. Now let's see what car Peppa should ride in. How about the engine? No, that won't do. Peppa's too young to drive. What about this cute horsey one? It has a heart that matches the heart on Peppa's dress and she really loves horsies. I think this is the one. Let's sit her in her seat and she's ready to go. And she can ride right here behind the engine. Choo -choo 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 -choo. But we still need the rest of the passengers. So let's see who's behind the red number two door. We'll ring the doorbell. And now we can use our number two key to unlock the door. I wonder who's behind this one. Look kids, it's Mummy Pig. She can't wait to go to the zoo either. And she'd like to put on something nice just like Peppa. Wow, a yellow sundress with white flowers. What do you think Mummy Pig? Do you want the dinosaur car? No thanks. Oh, okay. How about this cute flower one with a swing? Mummy Pig loves this one because the flower matches her dress. Here you go, Mummy Pig. You can sit right here and swing all you want. And her train car can go right here behind Peppa's. Now our train is starting to get pretty long. Now who do you think will be behind the purple number three door? Let's ring the doorbell and find out. We'll need our trusty keys with the number three key to unlock this door. Here we go. Let's give it a little turn and find out who's inside. Hey guys, it's Peppa's little brother, George. Let's think of something he can wear. George, what is your favorite animal you might find at the zoo? T-Rex. Oh, I don't think a T-Rex will be at the zoo. Can you try something else? Why say what talks? Um, I don't think there's gonna be any dinosaurs at this zoo. It's not Jurassic Park. Can you think of one more animal that might be at the zoo? Monkey. Great, George, a monkey might be at the zoo. And since George loves dinosaurs so much, our dinosaur car would be perfect for him. In you go, George. Rawr! Wow, nice dinosaur roar you have there, George. We'll put you here. And now all four cars of our train are connected. But we still need an engine driver. Maybe we can find one in the house. Now let's see who could be behind our green number four door. We'll need our last key, the number four, to unlock this number four door. I hope whoever's inside will make a good engine driver. Hey, looky there, it's Daddy Pig. I think Daddy Pig wants to bring a camera to the zoo. All right, now he can snap some cool shots while he's there. Let's pull the train back. Beep, beep, beep. And now Daddy Pig can ride in the engine car. Now let's just send him inside the train. And we can use our magic wand to send the train off to the zoo. All right, they made it. Welcome to the zoo. Hop on off and follow me to the boat and you can find your first animal. Very good, right this way. All right, children, just hop on the boat and you can find your first animal. Monkey. Hmm, a monkey you say? Well, we'll see what it could be. I can't wait to go on the boat. All right, now that Peppa and George are on the boat, let's spin them around to see what's on the other side of the pond. It's not a monkey at all. Peppa's right, it's a panda. Pandas are black and white animals that live all the way in Asia. They love to eat bamboo, which is the world's biggest grass. They look like bears, but they're actually more like raccoons. Now let's send Peppa and George back around to the other side of the pond. Hey, look at that, another animal. It's a hippopotamus, which means water horse, but you can call him hippo for short. 
They're big animals from Africa and they love to swim in water. Now Peppa and George have already seen two cool animals at the zoo. Did you enjoy your little boat ride? Yeah, but where is the monkey? Aw, oh, don't worry, we have a monkey at the zoo. But for now, let's go look at another animal. Righto, if you look over here, you'll see the pride of the zoo, an elephant. That's right, kids. An elephant is the world's largest land animal. A full-grown one can weigh 14,000 pounds. This one's still young, but when it's full-grown, it'll be huge. Daddy, he's even bigger than you. Why, Peppa, I think you're right. Let me snap a picture of him. Ah, pff, pff. He's just got us soaking wet. Oh yes, my apologies. Our elephant is very camera shy. Coming in for a landing. Look, it's Miss Rabbit. You kids go with her for a treat. Come on kids, hop on. Yay, a helicopter ride. Woohoo. Up, up and away. There you can see a parrot from South America. The parrot is one of the few animals that can learn to say words. Hello, Peppa and George. This one has learned your names. Bye, parrot. Now we'll come around here and hop out. Oops, there goes the helicopter. That's the third one I've lost this week. Miss Rabbit, look, a lion. Aren't they dangerous? Ordinarily, yes. But this is a zookeeper's cousin, Gerald, and he's very friendly. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Wow, what a neat animal. Can we learn about him? Sure thing, kids. Lions are big cats that live in Africa. They're called carnivores, which means they eat meat. Boys have manes like this one, and the girl ones don't. But where is a monkey? Come on, kids. Follow me around here. I have something to show you. Here we are! Huh? Don't be shy, hop on! Come on, George! Okay! Alright, say hello to the monkey for me! Whee! Oh no, Miss Rabbit, the monkey isn't here! Did you hear that, Mr. Lion? The monkey is missing! Oh dear, that's quite an emergency! Let me see what the computer says! Hmm, it seems the monkey is hiding somewhere in the zoo! Can you kids at home find her? Sure, Mr. Lion. We'd love to help you find the monkey. Let's see, there's the hippo, and the elephant, and there's the parrot, but where's the monkey? Wait a second, what's that behind the bush? There's the monkey! We found her! The monkey is a primate and is very mischievous, and they even have tails that they can use like hands to grab things. Now let's put this silly monkey back where it belongs. Yay, monkey! Wow, guys, George finally got to see his favorite animal at the zoo, and I hope you did, too. Bye, guys. Make sure you give us a thumbs up.